Hello everyone and welcome to IntelliPad. In this video we will know about the app development framework called Flutter. Before that please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates from us. Flutter is a cross platform framework for creating user interface in app development sphere. This means that you can create aesthetic user interface for both Android and iOS apps using this framework alone. If you want to create the whole app you will have to learn a programming language called Dart. This will help you with the backend and APIs for your app. Dart is a programming language that was developed by Google. Its syntax has strong similarities with object-oriented programming languages like Java and C++. So, it is relatively easy for a programmer from Java background to transition to Dart. Flutter is an open source project which was released by Google in 2017. So it is relatively new compared to its biggest competitors like React Native and Ionic. Google Pay and Alibaba's e-commerce platform was built using Flutter. When you want to bring any idea in the form of a mobile app, you would have to hire developers and come up with a code base that you can deploy. Looking at the images of the two scenarios below, you can tell that if you use Flutter, you can save cost by just hiring one Flutter developer. And you can also save time You will end up with just one code base for your app instead of two when you use the native framework. Now let us take a look at the three most important features of Flutter. The first one is UI as code. So UI as code has no drag and drop options. All the components of the user interface will be a code snippet. The next feature is one code base. In this feature you will have only one code base for Android and iOS. The third feature is that it embraces platform differences. Flutter renders pixels on the screen without taking into account of the operating system. After the MVP is created, that is minimum viable product is created using Flutter, you can go ahead with whichever app you want to concentrate on while still keeping the other platform stable. Now the question arises that who should learn Flutter? We all know that React Native was the first to come into the market. It is good for older developers with 2 to 4 years of experience who are already familiar with React JS and vanilla JavaScript. It also has more job opportunities since many projects are based on React JS. But Flutter is faster than React JS in terms of development and computations. To sum it up It is ideally suitable for someone who is just starting out their career in app development. Also, if the app needs to perform complex mathematical computations, Flutter is the way to go. 